Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike. Hope all you have a great holiday and new year. To follow up on my review of my first year studying experience at the UChicago MSCA program, today I'm gonna talk about my experience at ISC Applied Data Fellowship program. ISC Applied Data Fellowship is a one-year data science working internship program within the nonprofit public policy sector that allows fellow candidates to apply their interest in public policy combining with the skills in data science analytics. Candidates are placed into different nonprofit organizations while it is partnered with the UChicago Harris School of Public Policy. So as a candidate, while working at your nonprofit organization for a year, you're getting paid through UChicago in a monthly basis with a total around 40k in a year. While well, I'm covering my personal experience of working at my nonprofit organization and also my analytic experience, I will also list out the details of working at this field and share some of the stats about the employment at nonprofit to help you to decide if this is a good industry that you wish to work in. So when I applied the program, um, I went through UChicago's internal student recruiting system. I got two interviews with the fellowship coordinators, one behavioral and one technical interviews. Both are very conversational process and both are standardized interview process like involving your skills in the problem solving, leadership, communication, and team working skills. From the technical side, I was asked about my past analytic project from my job on how I implemented a business intelligence pipeline. And then I walked my interviewer through one of my personal analytic project in Python machine learning. And then my process of me using Tableau dashboard to visualize, analyze, and interpret the model results. So after I was admitted into this fellowship, I would need to participate into this nonprofit organization matching and placing process. This matching and placing process is based on your current skills, your interests or expertise, and the different business requirements from the sides of the nonprofit. The fellowship will match you to interview with a potential nonprofit, such as healthcare, hospital, education organizations, um, high school or college, with the police department and the prison entities. And in the politics, we can potentially get matched with certain senators, campaign team, or other governmental office or department. Additionally, some other nonprofit organization can include, you know, urban planning, early education, technology promotions, labor market research, and so on. So there are lots of nonprofit for you to potentially work with. While I was being placed, the fellowship coordinators helped me to work on my resume and connect my resume to those organizations. From talking to many fellows and their works, I can say that the applied data fellows could potentially participate in large scopes of analytic works within their placed organizations. Such as you may work to build a data analysis report that will be used for internal business stakeholders or get published for the public education purposes. You may have a chance to perform A-B testing for a certain new policy of law reinforcement within different geo-level data. You may also ask to um, use analytics to plan for prison rooms turnover capacities within the local prison system. Or you might get to analyze survey data for policy insight or you build a um, data engineering system from scratch and applying big data tools. The targeted candidates of students are all UChicago students who major in programs like public policy analysis computational social science, computer science, economics, MSCA, or I also see some students came from political science, psychology, or statistics, or mathematics. Since I came from this private sector background and I study accounting and taxation in my undergrad, so I was naturally placed into Cook County Access's office, which is CCAO, serving at the data science department to help achieve better and efficient models that calculate real estate properties assessment valuations and their property tax calculation and simulation. So when I was working for CCAO at the beginning, I started to work with the two senior data scientists contribute to their um, residence show poverty and the commercial poverty models. Both models predict and calculate the real estate poverty market value. Since Cook County's poverty tax is calculated based on property's market values, and the tricky part about the market-based assessment are that it is based on many micro and macro uh, economic factors, geo factors, different neighborhoods, poverty types, and the poverty layout. 
CCO is using R based machine learning packages of a light gradient boosting model to help calculate over 2 million poverty values across the whole Cook County. Then the treasurer office will take our calculated market values of all the properties to then eventually determine the levies that will get imposed on each of the taxpayers or property owners. So adding, testing, and engineering new features into the model was one of my main texts during my fellowship. Then after three to four uh, months of working under my supervisor on the two real estate valuation models, I was then assigned to own an individual project, which is to create a full stack R Shiny application that takes in the property valuation data with all other features to calculate calculate individual property taxes. This application could be serving as a source of truth to internal and external users to analyze and simulate property tax on the changes based on the various scenarios with the front-end dynamic data visualization dashboard. It also can help promote transparency, accuracy, and efficiency for the government to better serve our taxpayers. I'm very thankful for this opportunity that got assigned to me since this is the first high exposure, high sold out project that I took ownership in. It not only helped me to practice all my technical skills, but it also grant me with a lot of sense of personal fulfillment when doing the work. For example, it required me to learn to conduct lots of research work, reading papers, planning, designing, Q&A, team working inquiries, coding, documenting, and agile iterations. Eventually, I will have to explore the business use case and present the data-driven application demo to the chief level shareholders. While studying as a part-time student at the UChicago MSCA program, I get to practice what I'm learning from my classes right into my project at CCAO. And I was able to grow as a true professional being a student by working on something that actually matters to the people and the citizens who live in the Cook County. During my work experience as an IIC fellow, I worked as full-time but in a remote basis within CCAO's data science team of six permanent staff. And there was another IIC fellow who graduated from Harris School of Public Policy and four to five other seasonal interns during my stay at CCAO. The whole team culture was very innovation driven and everyone was relatively young to meet age professionals. So we all get along pretty well. And everyone was supportive and surprisingly not too much politics that I suspected that I would be going through within this government type of team, which was indeed a very good working atmosphere. As an IAC fellow, we also get to join a group Slack channel to help connect all the fellows from all nonprofit together. There was a mentor assigned to host office hour, conduct training sessions or knowledge sharing presentations. And there was occasional job opportunity push to the group. It was very beneficial to learn what other fellows do at their organization, their project, and then how they use specialized analytical skills to solve for business problems. A special shout out to the mentor at the year of 2020 to 2021, who was also a student graduated from MSCA program and later then joined Nike. He hosted many trainings and knowledge sharing sessions such as service sampling, project management, data visualization, which was really cool additional resources to help us gain skills and resources for growth. So at the end, I did some research about the salary skills uh, when working as a nonprofit analytic professional because I'm still considered a newbie within this nonprofit or public policy industry. So hopefully those stats from online will help you guys to consider this industry, at least from a financial perspective. So according to Zip Recruiter around the US, the average salary of working for a nonprofit organization is 55K to 46K nationwide. And the bottom 25th percentile is 38.5. K. Then the 75th percentile is 90K. Top salary can range um, up to 100K and above, which also suggests there may be a lot of opportunity for advancement and increased pay based on your skill levels, location, and the years of experiences. In Chicago, nonprofit staff makes about 56.6K, and Illinois ranks number 
33 out of 50 states nationwide for nonprofit salaries. So for our data scientists in Studiastics, according to the Zip Recruiter, in terms of the nonprofit data analyst job, the average salary for nonprofit data analysts range up to 136k a year annual salaries. And in terms of nonprofit data science job pay scale, the national average in the US is around 100k, range up to as high as 200k. So data science in nonprofit can still get paid quite decent due to this big market demand. So at the end of the day, this was my first analytic job experience that allows me to perform some actual data analysis, contribute to the machine learning model beyond just building historical data reports, data warehousing, and engineering. And this opportunity paved my way of getting my summer internship off offer at Nike and many later data science related job opportunities. It also helped me to pay for my living expenses and tuition when I started U Chicago during pandemics, which is a huge lifesaver for me to go back to school. Thank you again for watching this video. If you like my video and content, please click on the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.